I, Andrew M. Cuomo. Faced with a looming financial crisis, New York's new governor, Andrew Cuomo, is taking a 5 percent pay cut and his top aides will do the same. It comes as the New York Times reports he'll order a one-year pay freeze for state workers on Wednesday as part of an emergency financial plan. The state government has grown too large. We can't afford it. The number of local governments have grown too large, and that we're going to have to reduce and consolidate. In California? The year ahead will demand courage and sacrifice. California's new governor, Jerry Brown, faces a $28 billion deficit and a state with the worst credit rating. And Illinois is being closely watched to see how it handles the biggest budget shortfall in the state's history. What's going on in Europe is a precursor of what's going to happen in Illinois, New York, California. Economist Peter Morisi says, like European countries strapped with debt, U.S. governors must rein in spending and renegotiate pensions. The governments at the state municipal levels employ too many people to do few things ineffectively, and that simply has to change. It's estimated that budget shortfalls for all states combined amounts to roughly $140 billion this year. Compounding the problem, federal stimulus money that helps states create jobs expires this spring. I think the best analogy is the person who was unemployed, got a job back, but they actually make less than they did before the recession. And that's, that's really what states look like. Scott Pattison is executive director of the National Association of State Budget Officers. He says municipal bankruptcies are rare and doesn't expect them, but... There's only so much money to go around, so the interest will be paid on the debt, the bondholders will be paid, but there'll be budget cuts and perhaps tax increases in other areas that will cause pain that, frankly, citizens are going to notice. For CNN Money, I'm Mary Snow.